$50 million cash injection to redevelop the former naval base HMAS Platypus on Sydney Harbour. It'll open up the space to the public for the first time in more than 140 years. And just weeks out from a by-election, it's welcome news for the Liberal candidate who's hoping to replace Joe Hockey in the seat of North Sydney. Nicole Chettle reports. It's a mysterious part of Sydney's history. First a gas works, then a torpedo factory, and finally a submarine base, all cut off to the public, hiding harbour views. Sydney is our international city, uh, and this is, you know, Central Park on the harbour. The upgrade will include a new park, boat access, and a park connecting the site to nearby Kesterton Park and the Ferry Wharf. Existing buildings will also get a facelift, paving the way for cafes and restaurants. It's been a long time coming, this, this process, but it will be lovely to have a public walkway and it'll be lovely to have, um, I think we talked about a viewing platform. So I think it'll be a great asset to the Sydney Harbour. The timing of the announcement intrigued locals, less than two weeks out from a by-election in the former treasurer's seat of North Sydney. The Liberal candidate says extensive work was needed first to clean up the old industrial site. Uh, so we needed to see this funding flow to allow the public to have access. It couldn't happen until after the decontamination works were finished. This vast shell was built as a torpedo manufacturing plant back in World War II. Now the plan is to build a suspended walkway right around the outside of the building to give locals never-before-seen views over Neutral Bay. The next step is public consultation to decide how best to balance the area's natural beauty and historical significance. I'm as impatient as everyone else. <laughs> I, I, I came back after a number of years away from the Trust, and here it was. It was still as decrepit as when I left the Trust, so I'm, I'm, I'm a man in a hurry. But there's no timeline yet for when the job will be finished. Nicole Tittle, ABC News.